So Bodycam had yet another update, not only one update, but two. And that's correct. They had three updates in total in the past like two weeks and uh, it's getting crazy, but this is kind of where it stops. According to Ryzad Studios, they're not going to bring out any new crazy updates with like new features and stuff being added to the game up until late, I want to say October, maybe even September, because they are now solely focusing on the new zombie mode, which is going to be absolutely insane because in their words Ryzad Studios said they want to create the most realistic or the most hyper realistic zombie game mode ever created and I, I mean I gotta say I kind of believe them it's it's something that Ryzad Studios will be able to pull off I'm pretty sure of it and I'm hyper excited for all of that but for now let's actually focus on what has been added to the game right now in any case before we get into any of that I want to remind you guys that I create tactical FPS videos guides FPS guides you can look on my channel what is actually up there it's pretty random but it's entertaining at least to see and mostly useful right if you guys enjoy any of that just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like this video that would be highly appreciated and it will help me get a little bit of a, a boost in the youtube algorithm right so with that out of the way let's move on to body cam update version 0.1.2.9 it goes as follows the bomb house has been reworked and they focus on zombie mode and fixes let's just jump into the actual future information of the zombie mode get that out of the way right we have recently released two major updates and here is the third we will continue to provide bug fixes but there will be no additional content as we shift our full focus to the zombie mode coming for halloween after halloween no stress we will resume regular updates our goal is to create the most realistic terrifying and immersive round based zombie game mode ever made and then here's a link to the latest updates if you have missed it. So, what did they actually do? For one, the bomb house has been reworked. The map has been reworked and optimized, now available in all traditional game modes. For those who like the airsoft house version, the goal was to create a structured real house with a bedroom, balcony, entrance and staircase. We think you'll love it. And then with localization and translation, they added support for the following languages. English. French, Italian, German, Spanish, Arabic, Japanese, Korean, Russian and simplified Chinese. All text not yet translated will default to English. Then with the information side of things, they said that Team Deathmatch and Deathmatch the modes remain the same but with added a timer to prevent games from dragging on, especially when the lobby isn't full, which I don't know if you've seen the lobbies of Bodycam, it's all over the place, some of them are like really empty, like one person in it and others are like i don't know it has like maybe 10 people in it like it's always full right so it's it's either one or the other but usually people tend to join up so it shouldn't be too much of a problem either way there's a timer now so that should be awesome then with the changes warn house basement we added new access to the basement which was highly requested this includes a new door and a modified roof at the exit location that is awesome i played some of it just a little bit earlier and it looks insane like the basement is probably like three times the size that it was i i absolutely love that no way i actually shot first oh i'm in the basement now lol that's actually convenient okay so we have to see where the new openings are like i, I think this is one. Oh, this is nice okay so add like an entirely new opening on the one side you can go over. Oh my gosh, this basement is much bigger. Oh, wow, no, 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 my heart. Then map fix, we made some minimap fixes to improve the experience by removing or patching up certain objects. Confirmed players will recognize the changes. Moving on to the UI side of things, the item detection distance. We've improved ground item detection, making it easier to throw back grenades, though we still recommend not trying. The detection distance has been reduced for realism and the item now appears only when it's at your feet. Wow, that's crazy. I, I, I wouldn't throw a grenade back in the game anyway, but that is that's kind of crazy then with locker visual they improved the locker and shop visuals preparing for an upcoming system update which i am really excited for like i think that's going to be a major thing that's going to change in the game then with the fixes the public pool vines now have collision allowing you to shoot through them apologies for the damaged drones only pistol fixed a bug that only gave players pistols in deathmatch and then k for kill fixed 
and activate flashlight fixed a bug where activating a flashlight on a dropped gun caused some issues. Now that is version 0.1.2.9. Then after that, they released version 0.1.3.0 with the new features and rookie friendly enhancements. Okay, what is in this actual update? Warning, first of all. Performance and stability update. Some files have been reorganized, which requires reorganizing the game content. So you don't be afraid if you see an update that is around 30 gigabytes in size. So yeah, not the entire game needs to be redownloaded. Don't worry about that. The game just had a major reorganizing of the files to make the game run smoother on normal PC. So we'll see if there's any like actual performance increase a little bit later on. And then they added friend joining the game will now automatically place you on the same team as your friend except if there's no space available which is a nice little thing to add in the game right and then the new grenade g68 this grenade explodes four times over a larger area dealing two times less damage than the classic grenade but useful in large spaces so it's like a cluster grenade thing i absolutely love that it just brings a new dynamic to the game right then with localization and translation, they improved the support for basically the same languages as the previous update. And then we can move on to the actual changes for rookie players. To ensure new players, rookie ranks start with others on their level with introduced the following. Rookie lobbies. These can only be joined by other rookies. Once a player surpasses the rookie rank, they will no longer have access to rookie lobbies. However, rookies can still join any other lobby. For example, if they have an experienced friend, the goal is for the rookie rank to be a transitional learning phase, while also ensuring a fun experience for newcomers. After just a few hours, they'll rank up to soldier and face more challenging battles. That is an amazing thing to add to the game, because yes, this game is hard. Like, I don't know if you guys have really played it in the past, like, couple of weeks or months even. People are really, really good at the game. And the game just gets better and better and easier to run on normal systems. So it just makes it easier for the better people to be better as well. So I think that is that is a massive W for Riseat Studios. And then with the UI changes, the server selection will now suggest lobbies with players of your rank to better balance matches. And then friend scoreboard, you can now see your friends in the score menu and bomb indicator. Once dropped, the bomb will be highlighted with a red square, making it easier to find, especially on maps with verticality. Like a verticality means with staircases, right? So if the bomb is dropped at the bottom of the staircase, you'll actually see, oh wait, the bomb is at the bottom of the staircase. The damage just makes it much more, uh, even much easier to find the, the bomb and to play the game overall. Like I like the idea that they're bringing in this whole rookie thing because it just br like opens up a dynamic for an entirely new player base, people who are kind of afraid to get into the game because, you know, paying 300 Rand for a game, which is probably going to run okay-ish on your system, depending on what system you have, and then also getting wrecked on by people who have played the game for a while now. It's, it makes it a little bit difficult sometimes, but now it just makes it so much better for all those players and they just do more stuff to make it just easier for everybody overall, technically, to just join in and have some fun. And now with fixes, the public pool bomb mode is now fully functional. And that is it for the like three, four updates and they've released in the past couple of, I don't know, weeks, maybe even days. That's crazy. Rise of Studios W for you guys. And, and once again, thank you so much, Rise at Studios, for commenting on my previous video. That really meant the world to me. I was hyper excited. So thank you for actually being there for your community and for all your players. So what do you guys think? Are you guys actually excited for zombie mode? I am. I'm stoked. I have to say, I'm really stoked. I want to play that zombie mode so bad, and I'm probably going to do that on live stream or just create a video out of it because that's going to look absolutely insane. I don't even know if it's going to be allowed on YouTube, but, you know, only time will tell. So we'll see. We'll see. Just be sure to be here when that happens because that's going to be somewhat of a fun ride. In any case, if you want to see the actual first update, you can click on the video on your screen right now. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.